Hey Nikki, what's going on? Um, let me see. Hey everybody. Hope y'all got your journals and stuff. And we're gonna get started. Once I can pull this up so I can see y'all comments. And y'all know the routine. If you have a motivational quote, go ahead and drop it in the comments. Oh, I don't want to hear myself talk. All right, so. Girl, I need my plate of food too. As long as you get your journal prompt done at some point or when you're able to, y'all, that's all that matters. If you need to talk um, your journal moments in your phone you can that can be considered a digital journal entry hey everybody popping in okay so why i have that right now who knows hey fine and ginger all right so we're gonna do our page and i'm gonna do this in the personal journal so let's go ahead and flip to that page okay cool cool i know you have another thing Two. I wish I could have stayed in that at the same time, but I'm like, let me go ahead and get this done, y'all. This is a cute accessory from Mommy Shishi Baby. I don't have the name of her company um, right now. If she pops in, I'll tell her to list her company. I have it on a card. It's just not near me right now. Oh, cool. That's a nice one. How was everybody's Monday so far? All right, y'all, I'm over here trying to choke water down. Water is so not my favorite thing, but if you watched my video earlier, then you know the fluff has to go, which means I have to drink some water. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add a border around the page. I believe I'm going to, um, I don't know, do a mixed type border, but we're just gonna start with our straight line first on opposing sides. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I like my journal. I call it my journal marker because I'm going to use it more in my journal marker, but it can be used in a planner as well. And I have uh, some journal cards by her, which are really cute. They are not in front of me, y'all. Matter of fact, I'll be able to show one when I do a video um, tomorrow because I have one inside of my planner. All right, so we're just creating a border if you choose to go on the outside of your page. Hey, Beverly. And remember, this is Motivation Monday. This is where you create a page inside of your journal that's going to help you get through the week. And so typically on these pages, you will see a motivational quote and then you can write whatever else on the page that you choose to write. So again, I'm just creating my border. And then I'll go in and add some additional colors. And I don't really know what the color scheme for today is going to be. So we are going to wing it a little bit. Um, I don't, I've been gravitating toward like purples and blues lately for whatever reason. All right. So I don't know if any of y'all remember these little rolls that we got from Happy Planner a while ago. And like it drives me baddie and up the wall however i do like what a lot of these say so i'm going to use this and create a um hexagon court um corner so i can show you how you can use those if you still have some at the house and you like i don't know what to do with these you have them thrown in a corner somewhere we can go ahead and shop our stash and use those 
So I'm not really doing a true rhythm with skipping lines. I'm just skipping here and there. Hey, everybody popping in. So again, I'm just picking the base, some of my colors, and we know that I have to practice stamping, so some form of a stamp has to go on here. So I think I'm going to use the word grateful, um, and we're going to make this page a little bit of a mix. Oh man, y'all know me and not wiping off these stamps. Okay. But that has to get up. Hold on, y'all. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm about to be real country and I'm about to wipe this off with this scarf. See, this is where y'all get to see me be real, real country. Don't ask me. We have a scarf sitting over here. And that ain't coming up. So, what if? All right, y'all. We're just going to have to roll with that. Y'all know that's going to drive me a little bit up the wall. So, let's see where my black ink pad is. So, we can go ahead and stamp this. Hey, Tanya. How are you? Okay. So. We're gonna do that. Hey, everybody popping in. If I didn't say you speak, I mean, if I didn't speak and you spoke earlier, hello. All right, so we all know that I am new to the stamping game. Well, newer, we put that. So we're gonna hope that this has enough on there. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp grateful in the corner and hope for the best and y'all know here i go with the dramatics of holding this extra long like that's gonna make it right and yeah that's as good as it's gonna get on this good here day all right and so the whole time i did that y'all i did have something to wipe my stamp off okay All right, so we have grateful, and I want to add a little bit of washi on here. Let's add a little dimension to our pages. And so I've never been one to always do straight line uh, washi when I'm doing journals. I will rip it a little bit differently. So that's not going to be super straight. Again, if you have any quotes, go ahead and drop your quotes down in the comments so that somebody may see the comment that you put and it may work for what they have going on this week. These videos are not all about me. They're actually to help all of us collectively. So if you have something that you think will be motivating, go ahead and drop it in the comments. And so I believe we are in the week of February 25th. Through March 3rd. All right, so let's look at this roll and see what this roll has on it. Um, to me, it's more of a self-care roll. And uh, yeah, so let's go up here. And it repeats after a while. This says, focus on daily routine, learn something new, live in courage, try something new, just breathe, 
and then it starts repeating again focus on daily routine be true to you and self-care so we could actually go in um this says soul care slow down today i kind of like these so i want to put something like in reference to self-care so let's write Or we could put something like note to self. Yeah, I know I kind of love that word. Hey, Cheryl, you didn't miss a lot. You just missed me being a little country, trying to wipe a little ink off the desk. Um, we're preparing the pages. I did a little stamping to get that out of my system. We have the date, so you're right on time. If you have your journal in front of you or if you're gonna do it later, you have not missed much and if you have anything inspirational to drop in the comments as far as a quote or affirmation you can drop it down in the comment section all right so note to self and of course i don't have enough all right, so let's use these and we're just gonna put us a little grid. Um, I always need to breathe and stop overthinking things so I can start that right there. Be true to you. I don't really have a problem with that, but why not put it down? It's cute. Let's focus on self care. Oh, shoot. Slow down today. I don't really need to slow down. I actually need to speed up a little bit because for the past couple of weeks, I have not been, I haven't had the momentum that I normally have, but I'm going to put it, I can slow down in certain areas where I need to stop um, overthinking things. I can say that much, but Nah, I need to speed up in a couple of areas because I'm tripping. And take care of me. We can put that right here. And live in courage. I think the other ones are not really going to apply. So yeah, if y'all have these stickers that you've had for quite some time, I think we are rolling up on a year with these stickers, I believe. Yeah, so this is something you can do. You can kind of create you a little center of things that you want to focus on. So yeah, that is something you can do with those stickers. And these were in one of those little boxes. I don't know what these were called. Yeah, I think it was a wellness box or something like that. So that is a way, if you were trying to figure out how can I use these, that's a way that you can use these. Um, if you want to section this off for it to stick out a little bit more so that you focus on yourself, you know, you can always take your black and go around it. Okay, so it was a wellness box. Cool. So that was that wellness box. So again, we're shopping our stash, using all this stuff we have just sitting around the house. I'm almost feeling slightly accomplished because they're almost used up hey unique thanks for joining um if this is your first live what we do on monday live is we pull our journals out and we're creating a motivational page this page usually will be the vehicle to get us through the week on those days that we feel like you know going off on somebody or falling apart you just open this page back up reflect on it and kind of refocus and rezone all right and y'all know i'm cliche i love little hearts we'll go ahead and put the hearts to represent love and you can also on these pages if you desire to develop the page a little bit more week to week you can put a goal that you want to accomplish on your page you can put a mood tracker on the page if you wanted to. Um, so I can show y'all how to do a mood tracker if you wanted to do um, the moods. And I think I will put it over here because the goal is we want to focus on being grateful. But we do know in reality we're going to have days that are not always where we just want to be so, you know, 
uplifted and all of that. So you want to kind of track your moods. I know quite a few people will ask, how can you track your mood if it's going to change throughout the day? What I typically will do is kind of treat it like a math problem, add it and divide it. What did I get more of out of the day? So I'm going to break this up and I did not count my dots. So that's going to be real cute. And we are going to, let's see. I got about 26 dots, so this is going to be a little off. So I'm going to say I'm going to do every three. And again, this is a dot grid, so if you aren't familiar with the dot grid, what makes a dot grid a really cool book is... You almost look like you're drawing straight on purpose. You're far away from the camera really using these dots. So that's what kind of makes your look a little bit neat and crisp if that's something you're going for. Um, it's, all, it's also good for working on handwriting. I have a lot of people ask me, like, how do you get your handwriting neat? Um, my handwriting is just actually just neat from over time. But this does help me sometimes if I want to work on it a little bit more. So I'm going to use just three lines at a time. That ain't really what I wanted to do, but that's what we're going to do. So I have to focus real quick, y'all. Once I get this, I'll start talking again. All right, so this is going to be the mood track. I really had more room where I could have actually done four lines, but no biggie. So I'm going to go on the top of it. I'm just going to put the letters for the days. Y'all know Monday is my start. All right, so we're going to let this be a mood tracker. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and fill this in. If that's going to bother you just being that um, a big old gap, that would probably, in all honesty, bother me. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. I don't know why I can't find the other thing. Oh, thank you. All right, so let's do this. We're just going to fill this in just to take that space up. All right, and I'll figure out what I'm going to put in there in a minute. Now, what you could do with your mood tracker, you can do a couple of things. You could either find smiley faces that come in Happy Planner books. If you are not a Happy Planner uh, consumer, then you could do a color code system. So you could say... Um, what, let, what's happy? What's a happy color, y'all? Yellow. So yellow could be happy. Um, red could be mad. And let's see. I don't know. I need another color, y'all. So we got yellow. We have... Where's a red? Y'all don't want to give me a red marker? Come on, Crayola. Because we're not even claiming red this week. But... Oh yeah, blue could be sad. Blue could be sad. Y'all, today is just, wait a minute, come on now. Let's do this. Okay, so let's just say we wanted to do, we wanted to shade in versus putting a sticker. We're gonna create a key to track our mood. We're gonna create a key. So I'm gonna create some squares for our key, our mood tracker. And let's just say we're gonna use three different colors to track our moods. So we're gonna track happy, even though we know that there are more emotions than happy, blah, or happy, sad. And then we could actually put meh, cause sometimes you're not necessarily sad. It just may be like, I ain't feeling it. 
So for the sake of showing you how to do a mood tracker, we're going to simplify it. So this will stand for happy. Let's just do happy. Meh. And I'm going to say upset because meh and sad can kind of go together. So let's say upset. So just for the, again, for the sake of learning how to do a mood tracker, we're going to do this. Now, in theory, a mood tracker may be a little bit smaller. Now, I'm going to do, so we said for happy, we're going to do yellow. This may smear just a little bit. Hopefully not. Okay. Then meh, we said we're going to do blue. And then for upset, this is not the right red. This is actually a um, roller pen and not a marker pen. So you will notice that Staedtler uh, Tri Plus comes in a variety of styles. Let me see if I can show y'all the red. I don't think we have a red one sitting in front of us for me to show you. So let me find another red marker out of, is this it? Okay, so this is the fine liner versus an actual pen. So this is a pen. This is a marker pen. Um, while I can use this, this tends to bleed a little bit through the pages more than I would like. All right, so this is going to be red. Now, my entire day uh, was actually a combination of both. I mean, all of these. So we could either do one or two things. We could take this and we could kind of put it together and say, how much did I have more of? Or you could actually shade it like your day went. Did you have more of a happy day? So I will say in the beginning of the day, I was a little, a little, a little, a little irritated. Okay. Um, so that was that. I didn't really necessarily have a meh day, but by the end of the day, everything worked out so I had more of a happy moment so this is going to be how I shade that in so now if I was really really upset I probably would color that all the way in red but you know I just put my Adrian hat on and got some people together over the phone and then it ended up working out where customer service you know we pulled it together so this was technically my overall day. So that is how you can track your moods. Um, I would encourage mood tracking if you can keep up with it. I would discourage it if you're not going to keep up with it. If you know it's not going to be something that you're going to do, let's not even create stuff that you're not going to keep up with. That's wasting time. You're being counterproductive. But if you say, I really want to kind of see where there is a shift um, during my week, I know a lot of y'all are probably going to color this stuff in red on Mondays. My goal is to get y'all out of the red zone on Mondays. So if you've been following me for a while, you know how I feel about Monday. And we're going to get y'all to like Mondays, okay? But this is something that we can all do collectively this week. See how it works when we come back on next Monday. I want to see if yay this work. No, I don't like it. And then we can go from there. So I'm going to put... What's my mood? That's what we're going to put right here. What's my mood? All right, so this is something new that we have added um, in for you to try different. So remember, your motivation page is going to be different than anybody else's motivation page. You may say, I want a tracker, but you might want a circle tracker and you shade in. I mean, you create seven pie areas and you fill it in. It does not have to look the same. There are so many different mood trackers. People do flowers. It's just it. possibilities are endless. Remember, we're doing creative journaling, so it does not have to be streamlined if you don't want it to be. So now we need a quote of the week. I believe... I want to do a bubble, let's do, or a cloud. Let's do a little cloud. And we're going to make this our focal point. So some years ago, 
my mom gave me a book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And during one of my journeys of, you know, living life, um, I had a storage and I lost that storage. And that storage had probably over, honestly, y'all, 200 plus books. And one of those books was Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. So recently she was like, I think I got two copies of this book. I'm about to give you this book again. And usually y'all, my mama's giving me a book like that. That's probably during my dramatics. Um, because I can't be a little dramatic. Y'all don't see it on screen like that. But, you know, she has to get me together sometimes. So she was like, here's, yeah, I'm going to just give you this book. And so this is the book. It's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And it's all small stuff. So this actually could be the quote to go in here. If I wanted that to be it. Today I'm going to do a little flip through so you can kind of see what's in this book. It's it's a really cool book, y'all. Um, It does kind of check you on a lot of stuff. So this one puts um, learn to live in the present moment. I think we've even said something about that before on here. Yes, it's definitely an old, a oldie but goodie. You can always go back to it and read it. This one is a good one. Ask yourself the question, will this matter a year from now? You can even do, will this matter next week, right? A lot of stuff we get all emotional about. Next Monday, half of the time we done forgot about it. Um, seek first to understand. So you can almost flip through and find something that applies to you and go read it. So I definitely would recommend this. It is Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And it is small stuff. Simple ways to keep the little things from taking over your life. Uh, Richard Carlson, PhD. Um, so if you need to see this again, I'll leave it for a second for you to write it if it's something you want to get. And I'll also link it in the description box um, once we get off and I update the description. Um, this one, think of what you have instead of what you want. Uh, this is one of them often, often that I need to refer to. Quiet the mind, that's another one. So usually when I'm up super late at night, I'm thinking about everything like ahead of the curve, behind the curve, and I need to live in the now. Hey, Yamina. So yeah, this is, is really cool. Cut yourself some slack. Um, That needs to be mine. Yep, that's going to be mine for this week, okay? So my quote of the week is going to be cut yourself some slack. So one thing about me, when I'm working on goals and new things and I'm trying to fix everything because you know you're not supposed to fix everything on your own. Um, it's not always up to you to fix everything. I can be super, super, super hard on myself. So I'm going to use this as my quote this week. Cut yourself some slack. And I'm going to write myself a note. Oh, you got the screenshot. I'm going to write myself a note. Dear, and we're going to use my whole name because, see, I call, I talk to myself and I say Adrian. I don't say no A. Renee at the house. All right, so that is my quote. I wanted to write this in more of a bold uh, pen so that I know that it's real. I don't need nothing faint. I need to see this. So I am gonna go around and put a color that's gonna make this pop. It will either be a, yep. Matter of fact, I want it to be a fluorescent highlighter. So I think I'm gonna do a fluorescent orange. So a lot of times we don't use the old school highlighters because we didn't got bougie and we be trying to use these mild liners but every now and then you need to just pull out a good old school highlighter and before I get on here flexing about this highlight highlighter let's make sure that it still works and it does all right hey pink poodle all right so we want this to stick out I need to yell at myself, so I'm going to yell at myself with the highlighter.
And so if y'all notice, we are using some old school stuff, markers, highlighters. Hey, Jasmine. And then if you want it to stick out some more, of course, you could go in with another highlighter. Again, we can still go with these old school. This is the paper made. I probably have every brand a highlighter known to man we have big paper made um friction is new to the game these are okay i can't say that those are my favorite um i even have wexford this is an erasable highlighter so i wouldn't necessarily use that right now so yeah we're just gonna pull out the highlighters and highlight what we need to focus on this week so these highlighters, they're not dual tip. You only get one end, so don't think you're going to get a little skinny end. If you need to use this to make a skinny line, you're going to just use that other tip on the edge of the broad point. But I want this to be a little bold, so we're going to go around those edges. And... That is that, and then I'm going to go in between these, and then that should be enough for my self-talk. So again, like I said, every Monday you're focusing on something that's going to keep you motivated, something that's positive or self-talk. So when you have those moments that are not so positive, that may be negative, you can kind of regroup. Um, if you haven't checked out the prompt already, I posted the prompt on Journal Jot and Job on IG for your weekly journal prompt. Um, it is going to make you dig a little deep. That prompt in particular is focusing on do you draw to negativity or are you the cause of negativity? And if you are, are you willing to change it? So that's the focus on that prompt. Um, down here you can put whatever you want to if you want to write notes, reminders remember we said we can set a goal for the week that's going to be whatever you want to include, that is not the pen that I'm looking for, I am looking for the black so we can put goal If you listen to, um, if you listen to Go Mine and Coco, she always talks about making, setting one goal per day. Um, for some people, you might need to set one goal per day, one goal per week. We just both preach to all y'all, set a goal. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't feel like you have to come up with 50 different goals to try to accomplish in the week. Because if you can't accomplish it, that tends to discourage you. So make sure you pick something that you can accomplish and then something that may be slightly challenging, but make sure that it's a realistic goal. So Jasmine, I do one prompt per week. I used to do prompts for the entire day. I mean, for the entire week, but I'll actually be um, putting those in the store to purchase in March. Um, but I'll do one prompt per week on the Instagram page. All right, so we need a goal. For this week now your goal can be in any area that you want it to be I would suggest putting that goal in an area that you tend to neglect right so most people are going to create a goal for work because a lot of us are codependent with our jobs or you're intertwined with your kids and you don't put that focus on something else but let's just say you say okay I can't stand my job and you know I tell you if you're complaining about your job I would recommend your goal this week be Look at new jobs. Just start searching jobs. I ain't telling you to quit your job, so don't come on here and say, oh my gosh, she told me to quit my job. I walked in and quit yesterday. Now what to do? I'm not telling you that. All I'm saying is if you're complaining about your job, start working on a contingency plan, an exit plan. What's my next move? So your goal may be update my resume. Look up jobs. Um, if you are a graduate from college, I'm talking to myself because I have not joined my alumni chapter and I should. That's just so trifling. You may want to set a goal to join your college alumni chapter in your local area. 
So set a goal that's going to get you closer to something you want to achieve actually at the end of this month or the beginning of next month. So my goal will probably be, um, I know my goal, my goal is water. Yep. It's going to be water. So my goal is really simple. It's just going to be hydrate. And so I'm going to put hydrate. And then I'm going to put for real. So today is probably the most water I have drunk in a while. And so when I write in my journal, y'all, I write like I talk. Like, I write like I talk. I just... When you're writing in your journal, write like you talk. Don't get all bougie in your journal and get real serious and that's not your personality. Your journal should read like your personality. You don't have to put a front on for your journal. You just be as real as you're going to be. Go hydrate for real. Um, and then I'm going to put something over here and I'm going to be a little extra and I'm going to put my body is thirsty and I'm going to put your body is thirsty. Yeah, because my body wants to lose this excess weight and waste. So, matter of fact, I'm going to hydrate for real. Your body wants it. And so that's my message to myself. Like, girl. Body is like, I am thirsty. You ain't eating like you need to eat on the norm. I used to eat six small meals a day. I probably eat one and a half to two. So the body be like, let me just hold on. Because I don't know what you're going to do next. So let me hold on and create this extra weight. Because I don't know if a lot of you all know. Not eating is equally as bad as eating. Too much. It pretty much does the same thing. So that is that. Let's see if we have a sticker that I can add on there. And then that's our motivational page for the week. Um, I do know I have a water bottle. I have one because I have quite a few sticker books. Oh, awesome. You put your exit plan in motion. That is cool. It's scary. It is scary because it's new, especially if you've been on your job for over a decade. Transitioning is, it's a beast, y'all. Like, it is definitely a beast. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all. So how have y'all been enjoying doing your weekly pages in your journal? Like, have you seen a difference in your life? Um, have you introduced it to anybody else? How apprehensive were you initially? Because I know this is super, super different. Probably something many have never done before. And have you actually let your hair down so you're not overthinking it? All right. And so remember, that's the note to ourself. These are the things that we want to do. If you wanted to add a little extra to this side, you could kind of do your self-care. What are some self-care things that I want to do, right? So if you say, I need to shampoo my hair, like I need a pedicure, like seriously, need a pedicure. You could add that in there. Um, okay, so let's not say you fail at it. You're still working on it right i wouldn't necessarily call it a failure it's different like it's new it's different um you just have to yeah try um so which journal are you talking about are you talking about the goals journal because i can actually show you all that awesome okay so some of y'all are getting accustomed to using the journal trying new things that is all that it's about and remember this method may work for you it may not you may figure out a different way that you want to motivate yourself so of course it's not going to be the exact but it'll be something 
Awesome. Don't that make you de-stash? You be finding stuff you ain't even know y'all have. I haven't even pulled out the half of the stuff we're going to be doing in our journals. Y'all, by the time we get to the end of the journal, we would have painted in the journal, all of that stuff. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so you've never done a journal. Okay, so Jasmine, you can start even with a notebook. Like, you don't have to go buy any fancy journal at all. Oh, yeah, Mina, girl, I, we've probably all been there, but at least you can identify with that. And what I would suggest to you, so turn it into a journal moment, but make sure your page is a little creative and colorful and stuff, because if you're going to write and it's going to frustrate you, you don't want it to just turn you off. I would say set your timer for 15 minutes and in your journal moment, write who you allow to throw off your weekend what threw off your weekend what did you contribute to that and what can be done differently so that you don't repeat that and then that can be a journal moment for you so all i tell people is turn your great moments your not so good moments into a journal entry and that way you can kind of see the growth and you can see all right i'm repeating the cycle or i'm finally getting out of this okay so this is the gold mine gold mine and cocoa goals and this is one of my favorite goals journals. I still have not done the mind mapping yet, y'all. I don't know why I'm fighting that. I've been fighting it for quite some time. So Jasmine, in reference to where to start, um, just pick up the pen. So draw, just write your name. Okay, for example, when we get to the end of the week, I'm going to always do a hello page for the next month. So, for example, I got to do this off screen for a second because I don't want to turn to something that y'all can't see. I'll get back to this one in a second, y'all. So, for example, this is hello January. This is how I start. So, if that's the first thing you need to do is create a hello page create your hello page you can start it for March if you're more comfortable starting there if not you can do a dear Jasmine letter Cheryl you did you do not need a dot grid <laughs> you can use whatever you had you mean a no straight face girl it gets better I promise the more y'all get to know me, I'm going to do story time with y'all. We just have to wait. Once y'all start talking more, I'll start doing story time and y'all will see how my journals developed. Um, okay, so let's find February. Where is February? Uh, how long, y'all? What we do? Oh, that we wrote. We did quite a bit in January. I didn't realize we did that much in January. Well, you can always, I'm not an enabler, but you can always click on that link. If you go back one or two videos, I have the link in my description box. It'll take you straight to that Scribbles That Matter bullet journal. And then this was February. So this was February, and then we will end up doing a March page. But I'm not going to be able to do a March page just yet because I'm actually going to do some more journal entries i'm going to do an end of the month um journal entry and i'm also going to do the time journal entry so the time journal entry means i put the timer on for 15 minutes and i'm going to write whatever comes to mind i actually have a sheet in here that i can't turn to but i do like a brain dump of things that i need to write about that i won't necessarily write about at the time because a i just don't feel like facing it or b i'm just not ready to write about it but at some point before the end of the month, I'll write on all of those topics. And that's when I set that timer. So that's a 15 minute journal writing. When the timer goes off, no matter if the um, if I'm not complete with the sentence, I just stop right there. Because what happens a lot after 15 minutes, depending on the topic, you're going to start repeating yourself. So I just close it and keep it moving. All right, girl.
Got you, Yamina. Yeah, definitely time. Time, time, time. Um, and I'm going to tell you a saying my mom said, and I didn't understand it until I got a little bit older. She was like, when you're tired, you'll be done. And I just did not understand it until with one situation. One day I woke up and I was like, I don't even care no more. Like, hey, y'all got to understand. I used to care. Like, I used to commit. I used to care. I used to care so much I would pull up, okay? So, I promise you things do get better. All right, so this is the goals journal. And as I said, mind mapping. Yeah, I don't know why I'm fighting that. I need to hurry up because we're going into the third month, which is the last, um, what do you call it? It is the last quarter. I mean, the last month and first quarter. Oh, this book right here. Don't sweat the small stuff, Bridget. I don't know who needed to see this book again, but this is the book that we were talking about. Um, and again, I'll link, I'll link it in the description. I'll probably go ahead and recommend everybody get this because we will start working out of this for sure. We can create journal prompts on our lives. Okay, and so now this is mind mapping. So yeah, I got to get that done before March is closed out because when I go into second quarter, I need to be moving. Um, affirmation, still haven't wrote all of those down. Yeah, I think it will be cool. So if y'all already have the book, let me know that you have the book. Awesome, Nicole. If you have the book, let me know if you don't when it fits in your budget. I'll have it linked in the description. If it does not fit in your budget, there's the library. Please do not go buying anything. Y'all know we are working on escaping ACT scores and getting to SAT credit scores if that applies to you. If you already have the SAT looking credit score, and yes, I know credit scores do not go up to four digits, people, but that's just what we say. If you're already in the SAT range, we don't need you digressing to the ACT range. So only if that is in your budget do you look at that book okay so this was january y'all i did my goals i did my recap this is february i did my goals i haven't done the recap because we're not at the end right so i need to be able to do that recap on thursday evening is when i'll fill this in because four days you can get a lot done in well three days left you can get a lot done in three days and so I went ahead and did this. I did create a video so y'all can check that out when you get off of here, especially if you're just going to be up anyway. Go ahead and check that video out. And this is my March goals. So I've already set my goals. One thing that I would suggest if you're going to get into um, setting goals or you're going to pull your goals from your vision boards, don't wait until March 1st to do those goals. Because you're going to already be in the month and then you're going to find reasons why you can't write your goals down or you're going to feel rushed. You kind of want to have a little bit of a plan. So when March comes, you can then start putting your tasks down and you can start checking these goals off. When you're setting those goals, keep them small and achievable. That does not mean you can't have a large goal, right? So let's just say... You set a goal and you say, I want to make $100,000 a year. You still have to break that $100,000 a year goal down. Okay, so that'll work. Oh, no, don't definitely don't let it be um, intimidating, right? Just start where you are. I always tell people when they're watching videos i don't care if it's my video or if it's anybody else's video when you're looking at a person that has been doing this for so long you're not going to be able to replicate right so you're going to start small so that's why sometimes i'll do a more simplified version of a journal entry and you can write so if you say writing on plain paper works for me best a renee or adrian that's fine that's what you do and then you slowly incorporate certain things if you choose to. If it doesn't work for you, that's fine. As long as you're getting your thoughts out on paper, that is my number one goal for anybody that's listening to this live. And I appreciate your transparency and your honesty. So that's all that's going on here, y'all. And then you're done. Your goals are set. You close this book. 
And then the only time I will open this is kind of like when I'm working on my monthly plan. Go ahead and open it up 